This is our job for Boxing Social in partnership with Empire Fighter Store here in Box Park, Wembley. Joined by Ben Shalom. Headlining at Ali Pali, headlining at Wembley Arena. You're certainly making him a star, Ben. No choice. He, he won't accept any less. He looks for Javonta Davis, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. He wants to be though with those names, associated with those names. He wants to be fighting for world titles. Next calendar year, that's what he wants to be thinking about. And so that means he needs to be a big star. He needs to be headlining. He's a phenomenal talent and uh, he deserves he deserves this he works very very hard for it and uh, yeah I'm expecting a, a statement on Saturday night you've told me moments times and times before it's hard to match Azim where are we with this opponent we are looking at him fighting for a European title in September so it means we need to get fighters a well ranked Santos Reyes is a WBA Latin champion defended it once unbeaten good pedigree coming to win and coming to beat Adam Azim and sometimes it's hard to find fighters that are confident to get in the ring especially a 7-0 Adam Azim is not a fighter that you know many fighters want on their on their resume um, and we know that in Britain but luckily he's focused on world titles not just British titles and um, and we've got to move very very quickly I think this is it clearly is his biggest test today let's see how it goes in terms of working within boxing, who does he compare to, do you think, down the years? Obviously, the, the same comparison is always there, but in your eyes, who does he compare to? It's a good question, but I, all I can say is, you talk about fighters with talent and this and that. There's a lot of fighters that obviously approach myself and John Wish, who's, who's our head of boxing, our team all the day, every day, every week, looking for their opportunity. Adam Azim has more talent than, than anyone I've ever seen, but works harder than anyone. And that combination of hard work and talent is so rare that's what gives us such confidence he's so focused so dedicated I've never seen anything like it so obviously this Nassim and this Amir and this other fighters um, that have achieved great things at a very young age I think uh, but this is this is a phenomenon I've, I, I've not seen in, in boxing in my time and uh, especially at his age it's uh, it's great for British boxing because there's a lot of young world champions in the US um, and not as many young world champions in the UK and Adam Azim wants to be that man. Hopefully a world champion in his actual stable is Caroline Dubois. It seems to be a race between those two to get their world title first or a major title first. Good to have her back out as well Ben. Yeah it's incredible. People talk about Adam Azim. For me she's the Adam Azim of women's boxing. She is moving incredibly fast. She wants to win. She wants to be fighting for a world title by the end of the year. I think she could fight for one tomorrow with that talent. Um, for me the future star in women's boxing. Uh, and it's special that they're in the same gym. It's crazy. I think it's Wellman's time. It's going to be. It's going to be hard to get in that gym. A lot of pressure for Shane as well. Um, Vidal Riley back against a very confident Anise in this fight. It was very vocal on that press conference there as well, Ben. Yeah, Anise Taj is a. He's a. He's a character. I've all, I've actually known him because he was in the tournament, so I knew it would be a good opponent for Vidal. But also coming to win. Fights, uh, talk, fights just how he talks. He's going to be in Vidal's face from, from round one. And uh, it's good because Vidal was so impressive in November in Manchester. And I think that was where boxing fans saw, wow, this is a potential star here um, in the cruiserweight division. And uh, yeah, big test for Vidal, as in an early test. And, and East Taj is coming to make this very, very exciting. Sims Jr., possibly the fight of the night, we're being told. How's that matchup compare? Sims Jr., I remember when he signed with Matchroom and I thought, wow, you have got everything. You've got talent, you, you look good, you talk well, but he never really got to where everyone thought he would. Um, and he's been on to me for an opportunity. He wanted it in the middleweight division. We've given it in the super middleweight division against Zach Shelley, who has never turned down a fight. It was Lerone Richards last time. It's now Anthony Sims Jr. Incredible. It's just what boxing fans want to see. I think he deserves a lot of credit and a lot of support. Um, but it's going to be a it's going to be a great fight because Sacchelli is is literally knows one way and he's going to go it from it from right at the start. He's going to need more variation in his boxing than he's done it in the past, and hopefully him and his dad realise that against Anthony Sims Jr. But it's an intriguing fight. Both of them have good futures. Um, clash of styles, clash of personalities. Looking forward to it. Um, a few more for me. I've got much time. Um, March announcement: Lawrence Coley headlining. Why? Where do we get to with Manchester? I thought it was meant to be Liverpool. Why Manchester? So we had Tasha Jonas. We think we've got a massive fight for her um, to announce in the next week or so. 
and because of that we want to wait for a, fa a, a, a fight that, that she deserves um, rather than a standard defence so that was we couldn't make that for March 25th Jack Cattrall his fight fell out we need him out he's from Manchester Lawrence Okoli was meant to be on Taylor Cattrall's undercard as well as the chief support and so we got that date thankfully with the Manchester Arena Dan Aziz probably in there with the European title, Fraser Clark against Riddell Booker. It's going to be an absolute monster card, but I'm just excited that Lawrence Okoli finally gets to fight, gets to headline. With his new trainer, Sugar Hill, it's going to be a spectacle. There's going to be a lot of interest in, in what's going on. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Quickly moving on before we end, um, what's the latest with the Eubank rematch? And um, Wasserman indicated that you know, perhaps there are more options than the rematch now. It seems reports are saying they are going ahead with that. Where are we, Ben? We'll know in the next week. Um, we'll know in the next week. Anfield? Liam Smith's going to have a massive fight, whatever happens. But we'll know in the next week whether it'll be Chris Eubank Jr. Um, I know Anfield's going under, under construction, the Anfield Road end. We're still hoping that even with that construction at one end, which is the away end, we can move forward. But whether it's outdoor, we know Manchester Arena's always an option, but we're exploring a couple of outdoor opportunities as well. But as I say, Eubank Jr., We'll know in the next week. Two more for me. Um, it was one of the reports came out after the fight that Eubank's reputation was in tatters. Surely you don't agree with that? I think it was a tough loss and it would be a devastating loss, especially because Eubank Jr. Pri proud, prided himself on his durability and, and the fact that he'd never been stopped. And uh, It'll be a tough one for Eubank to take, but yeah, it's just classic boxing. You lose a fight and you're finished. Um, he's a massive name. People, there's still big fights for him. Um, and knowing him like I do, he will want to see to this very quickly. I know this is not your, your, your broadcaster, but the zone have put an email out saying they're upping their subscription fee. What did you make of that, Ben? Yeah, I won't comment on the subscription fee because that's a fan's decision. And uh, I know times are, are difficult for a lot of people. We have it when we have to put on a pay-per-view. You don't want to as a promoter. As a promoter, all you do is want everyone to see your fights. Um, but I think there's some fights on their boxing in the boxing sense that I'm looking forward to. Um, looking forward to seeing Anthony Joshua back. Looking forward to uh, Cordina fighting for his world title again. Looking forward to um, Taylor Serrano, of course. So, yeah, as a boxing fan, there's a few things that I'm looking forward to.